The prescriptive designs that are in FEMA 320 uh, are for the most part use materials and construction processes that uh, are common to the building industry. And that's intentional because we, we did not want to introduce some exotic concept that would say have a higher price tag or be totally unfamiliar with residential uh, construction uh, contractors. And that, that still is true today, however, now manufacturers have uh, indeed innovated and, and have products that, that were not available to us earlier. For example, let me back up a little bit and talk about one of the, the concepts, the plywood concept. We started multiple layers of plywood, two, that's not enough add another three, that's not enough, added a fourth layer, and we thought that would do the job. Uh, and, and yet, that makes an awfully thick wall with four layers of three-quarter inch plywood. So we said, look, it would be better to use two layers of plywood and a steel sheet to stop the debris. So that's what the, the current concept is, kind of current design is. Now, some producers have produced a, that, that steel plate is heavy. It's, it's hard to handle and hard to machine. So some innovative people came up with a, a laminate that substitutes for the steel plate. And, uh, and it's machinable and much more f friendly to the user. So that kind of innovation has occurred, but for the most part, you're correct that the, the designs published in FEMA 320 utilize materials that are, and, and processes that are familiar to the home builder and to the uh, uh, manufacturer, and, and uh, that's intentional. And, and uh, so, one experienced in construction who can read blueprints should be able to construct an above ground storm shelter as per FEMA 320. Now there are a multitude, and I would guess that a much higher percentage of the shelters being installed today are manufactured products, concrete boxes, steel boxes that are located in various places. There's even one that locates underneath the slab. That is, you go into the garage, cut out a section of the slab, excavate, put a shelter under there and put a sliding door on it that provides safety and you don't even lose a parking space. So there, there seems to me there's a, a solution available for just about every challenge today uh, and, and many concepts of shelters are available.